There are all sorts of levels of plays when it comes to Among Us, from everything to the highest IQ plays to, well, the dumbest of the dumb. Welcome back, my fellow gamers. This is Top 10 Gaming, and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight. Brilliantly, it's some of the worst plays that give us some of the best moments in this game. Some of the moments where we can't believe what happened, can't believe our eyes, and wonder if there's something we missed, or if the person we're playing with really decided to behave so stupidly on purpose. Today, we're going to take a look Look at some of these in-game moments as we count down the top 10 worst Among Us plays ever. Let's get counting. Number 10, Misdirect. This is a crazy play. White kills in front of basically a room full of crew. And yet because Pink is near the body, even though we just saw White kill, Pink is the one who gets accused. This is like the dumbest play I've ever seen by a whole crew of people. One person accuses Pink and guess what? It's not even White. And everyone just jumps on that sinking ship. In the end, Pink gets shot out of the airlock even though they were just doing a task and actually did nothing to deserve their death. Number nine, who has tasks left? This is one of my favorite dumb plays from crew, yet brilliant plays from an imposter. The crew throughout this entire game on Board Gamers video had no idea that he was the imposter. It was so good. In the end, the worst Among Us play moment comes to us after the crew are influenced by Board Gamer in the meeting to eject the person who reported the last murder, who of course was not the imposter because it was Board Gamer. The crew still have tasks to do, so they figure if they can just maybe finish those, they can win. They're like so close. Instead of rushing to complete their tasks, well, there is only three crew left and they have limited time because as soon as one of them is killed, that's it. They wander around aimlessly, staying way too close together, basically setting themselves up to just be lambs at the slaughter. I'm just watching this like, you need to rush and get those tasks done. Like they need to be done now. What are you doing? And before we move on to our next spot, thank you so much for watching. And just a reminder, if you click that like, it helps us out a bunch here at Top 10 Gaming. So please, please, please click that like. Number eight, no defense. Wow, so first of all, this play starts off with the person who is on cams not paying attention to who was actually around the body that was just killed. So there's that. But the real dumb move comes from Bright Blue, who was actually in this game an imposter. When accused of being in a place with a vent that connects to a place near where the body was found, they are asked to defend themselves. Their answer? Well, they say nothing. Did you see Tandy leave medical? No. No. You were watching on cams, you could have seen him walk out. Tandy, what do you have to say for yourself? Nothing, vote him off. I was with you. Yeah. Yeah. You were with who? It's a bit late now. It's a bit late for your defense, <laughs> mate. They have no words. By the time they do speak up, all of the votes have been cast. Number seven, a peripheral view. This one comes to us from Board Gamer again, where they saw green murder white just in the top corner of their screen, proving the importance of the lights, but also the importance of you watching for witnesses before you kill someone. You need to see who's around you. Once they saw the death happen, they continued on their merry way, just pretending, you know, haven't seen anything, no one just got killed, and that they hadn't even noticed. However, in reality, they actually saw what went down in the corner of their screen, and Green didn't even seem to be aware here because I guess they obviously only had eyes for their victim. Board Gamer then doubles back and reports that death, instantly starting the meeting off with what they saw. Creating more suspicion around themselves, Green then agrees that they also think the murderer was Burks. Burks is white. Burks is the person that just got killed. That is super sus. Oh, this someone's like, I think it was, I think it was Burks. And then they're just like, it was definitely Burks. And it's like, that's the person that just died. You sound so ridiculous right now. Number six, quick vent. This dumb moment is brought to us by Clash of Fun. Wow, I said that like they were a sponsor, but they're not a sponsor. They're just a channel. This dumb moment comes to us from Clash of Fun. In this compilation video, we see the common ill thought out murder happen, where the imposter kills someone in security before venting to electrical without making sure the coast is clear. Venting quick can result in this kind of stupid mistake happening where you kind of pop up and then someone walks in just in time to see you jump out of that vent. Black and blue then just stare at each other really intensely. Blue obviously knows what just happened because they just saw someone come out of a vent. Even though black probably thought they're being like the most brilliant initially by making this play. They're like, I'll vent really quick. No one will see me. You just gotta love those intense dumbfounded stares where you know the other players thinking, did you really just do that in front of me? Wow. Number five, chased by a murderer. This has to be one of the most hilariously dumb and yet committed plays that I have 
ever seen. Ford Gamer was chased around the table by another crew member named Captain R and literally gave them an opportunity to peel off. They're just like going in circles, but hey, they didn't. They didn't take that opportunity. They actually continued to chase them around the table where the meeting button is, which is like, you're just asking to get called out for being sass. Like you're asking for that. Ford Gamer obviously pushed the button and accused them of acting suspicious and chasing them with intent to kill. Their response was, if I could have killed you, I would have. What? Obviously they were then voted out and yes, the suspicions were confirmed. You are the imposter, goodbye. Number four, a vote for me is a vote for me. Gotta love those times when people just vote for no reason. But you know what's even worse? When they vote for themselves for no reason. Huh? That's what happened in this playthrough video from Vidact. They noticed that Green has put in a vote and immediately calls them out as being sus for voting with no actual reason to vote and for having no intention in sharing the information of who they voted for. Why are you voting for Spookers? What's going on? You don't know who I voted. Yeah, but why are you voting? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm... We haven't even decided. All right, vote him off. Get, get Spookers out of here, mate. He's jumping the gun and he's voting for people. Yikers. I yeah, vote myself <laughs> everybody voted for him. <laughs> they immediately encourage the other players to vote them out because of this, which amazingly happens. And in a bizarre and dumb turn of events, it's revealed that Spookers, Green, who was voted out, actually voted for themselves. But why though? I love that they're like, it's super sus that you voted. And then in the end you find out like they literally voted for themselves, which is not sus. It's just really weird and dumb. <laughs> Why should you do that? Number three, right in front of mine eyes. Of course, I can't do this list on our channel and not bring up this moment. This happened in one of our very own Among Us videos and playthroughs with Connor when Eamon as the most sus color red was the imposter. In Eamon's defense, she was new to the game, but she was red and killed Green, Big Bulb, AKA Keegan, right in front of Connor. Literally walked past Connor and just murdered Big Bulb. This led to one of the swiftest outvotes ever when Eamon admitted when confronted, I don't know how to play. Eamon, why'd you kill him in front of me? <laughs> I don't know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> what? Girl? The only pause from the rest of us crew when it came to voting Eamon came because Eamon admitted she was actually having so much fun that she really didn't want us to vote her out. And I can't deny, I was like, yeah, you're super sus, but also I do want you to keep playing because you're having fun. <laughs> Number two, testing, testing. This one comes to us from another play shown in one of Clash of Fun's compilation vids. Huh? Bruh. This was a very short-lived imposter who likely either hadn't played before, was trolling, or was really just that dumb. They appear to be venting on repeat in front of almost everyone on the ship in the cafeteria. And at one point you just think, maybe this is some kind of glitch. Like, why else would this be happening? They're not doing this on purpose, right? An emergency meeting is then called, and when Red is asked to explain themselves for their repeat venting in front of everyone, their answer is that they were just testing to make sure the vents work. I don't think they've played before. <laughs> I don't think they realized that they were the imposter. Number one, witnessed. I kind of love just how much this person also committed to their profoundly dumb play. This is actually a continuation from our quick vent point earlier on. Yeah, so remember where we left Blue and Black in kind of a staring contest showdown? They're just staring at each other really intensely. Well, that obviously only lasted a few seconds, and then the two bolted out of electrical to get back to that meeting button. They both go in different directions, and you definitely think that Black is maybe trying to call the meeting before Blue can to throw suspicion at them and get it away from themselves. And yet, that's not what happens here. Instead, they run to the calf to intercept them, by killing them. And they managed to do so, but not before the meeting button is successfully smashed by the now dead opponent, Blue. So suspicious. This play, which I'm sure they thought was brilliant, despite the fact that there are multiple people in the calf at the time, results in them being voted out and shot out into the vacuum of space. Nice try, I guess? 
So many intensely low IQ plays here, some even in the negative I would say, but all definitely super entertaining, so I feel like we can give them some style points for that at least. What are some of the worst plays you have ever seen in Among Us, or experienced, or maybe have even been responsible for? Let us know in the comments below. And speaking of comments, it's time to turn in some comments for one of our latest videos, Top 10 Scary Among Us Locations. Chaz Chaos comments, hmm, ain't this the truth? It certainly is the truth. I feel like all of these locations are terrifying, especially electrical. It is the worst in the Skeld map. So Cram YT writes, I actually feel safe in storage and cafeteria since those are places where you can most likely get caught if you're an imposter. That's a good point. Although I do still feel like it depends on what your, your line of sight is like as to if that feels scary or not. Because if you've got a small line of sight, it, it can be pretty intense. Alana Janio shares, when you play too much Among Us and you start to hear noises in your house when left alone. Anyone else? feel the same. I mean, I definitely feel like sometimes I'm hearing that vent squeak when I definitely am not. And I'm like, I don't know what that was or if it's in my mind. But yeah, those vents, they follow me. And that's all the time we have for comments today. Be sure to comment below for a chance to have your thoughts and feels shouted out in a future video. This has been Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight, reminding you to keep on gaming on. Pew, pew.